Um, I mean, it feels really good. I mean, we've been talking about it all week with our coaches, the offensive line, and just everybody. And during practice this week, I just told the coaches, I'm like, I feel, I'm feeling a big game, especially these guys getting us ready. The defense, you know, our defense is dirt, vicious and nasty, and they're <laughs> real good. So like running, running, running up against them every day just prepares us even more for times like this, and kind of just makes it easier to run. And that's just what happened today. So. Um, what was going right in the backfield? What were you seeing as you were running through? The whole uh, all running backs got to give credit to their offensive linemen. They did a phenomenal job. JR making the calls and just macking them all. Cam Carter, Chris White, Jacob Vance, the freshman playing, did a phenomenal job. And just everybody on that line did phenomenal opening up holes. And I mean, I just sit back there and read the holes and just kind of explode through them. So like I said, they did a great job of opening them up and I kind of just read back there. The holes were easy to read and just explode through them. Uh, Mariko, you were all over the field tonight. You were had two big stops on those fourth downs. What was going right for you out there? Just give back out for my brothers because every play they landed out on the line for me. I read the play. My D, D line did a good job of opening the hole and I just feel and just finished it. Um, we know the offense has struggled a little bit. How does it feel to have a little cushion on defense and being able to, does that give you guys a little bit more energy on the defensive end? Yeah, it do. And it's exciting to watch those guys who've been working really hard show their talent. And looking at, you know, just back to you, uh, on the offense, you know, 401 total yards. So obviously not just the run game, but the pass game was going too. So what was Coach's message to you going into this week to kind of get that going? Uh, his message to us was play for us, play for our family, play for your brothers. I mean, start a new streak. Let's start something else in Murray State history. It's time to change our ways. I mean, our program's never been one of, like, the biggest winning programs in OBC, but I feel like we can really change that. And he was just harping on that. He was like, show the world, upset the world, that, like show what we can do, show who we are, and that's what we just came out there and did. So, like, kudos to our team. They did a phenomenal job today, and we're going to keep it rolling into next week. Next week you've got Seymour on the road to close it out. Um, so what's going to have to go right for you that way to catch a touchdown? I mean, same things as this week. We've got to get the run game going. Our defense has to stay stay the way it's been playing all season. I mean, they're doing a phenomenal job. And as an offensive player, I feel sometimes we just feel bad watching them go back on the field, back on the field. So just like we did this week, we got to keep our drives going. We got to get first downs and just keep moving the chain so they can get their rest off the field. And when they get on the field, they got to create turnovers. Sure, Enrico, for you on defense, that uh, big punt the first quarter, you know, seemed to catch you guys off guard. What was going on there? Um, I think they just got us unexpected because we thought they was going to punt the ball, but they did not. But um, they ain't no scoring that drive. We just had to bounce back and stay locked in. Sure. And you guys forced, I think, four or five, three and out after that. So what was um, the message at halftime from coach to you guys? Um, just keep playing how we was in the first half. That's what he preached on. And just go out there and have fun and play for each other.